Welcome back to Old Plastic. Today I'm taking you far, far away. You might remember my video on UP figurines from Columbia. I did that about four videos ago, something like that, uh, where I had those rare figures from Columbia that were gifts and snack food. Today we're going a little bit further away. We're going all the way down to Argentina. The two figures in front of you are uh, C-3PO and R2-D2 that were given away in chocolate bars. The chocolate company was Jack's, Jack Chocolate from Argentina. And what they were, they were like a modern day Kinder Egg. If you've ever purchased a chocolate kin Kinder Egg, They'll have little prizes or toys inside the egg when you open it and then you eat the egg. Well, Jack Chocolate started that all. And they started it, I believe it was in the 40s and through the 50s, 60s, and they're still making them today. Now, what it looked like was a little square brick that was hollowed out and it was made of chocolate. And they would insert a plastic figurine and they would be sports legends, uh, uh, historical figures, cartoons, and yes, we even got these two figures representing Star Wars C-3PO and R2-D2. These were the only two Star Wars figures that were inserted into Jack Chocolate, and they were these figures are from 1978. Now, they were unlicensed figures, and uh, I think they're pretty cool looking. Uh, I'll pull them up so you can have a closer look. This is the C-3PO. He's in pretty good shape for his age. And here... We have this really cool looking R2-D2. I'm very happy that I was able to add these two vintage Star Wars figures to my collection. I have uh, Star Wars figures from Colombia, Brazil, and now Argentina. Very happy about that. I'm trying to find some form of vintage Star Wars figure from every country that produced them. I think that would be really cool. I kind of have a world tour of Star Wars, if you will. And that kind of segues to my next pickup that I just got in the mail today and I'll put a little photo off to the side here so you can see where it's from. I got, I was very lucky, about a month ago I was able to find, an, uh, a month ago I didn't have my Facebook activated and um, I was finally able to find an email address for Jacob Ber Berzinski. He's the author of the book Far, Far Away, A Guide to Unlicensed Polish, uh, Vintage Polish Star Wars Figures. And I'm sure you've seen the book on the YouTube channel Action Figure Grader. He's showcased it many times. I emailed Jacob and he was a super nice guy. He said he only had a few books left and he was willing to sell me one and I did that transaction with him via email and uh, luckily enough I just got the book today here's my copy very very happy and I want to thank Jacob for sharing this book with me. Um, as you know, I had just uh, 
uh, sent away and had my first Polish figure graded. That was my Luke Skywalker. That was my very first uh, Polish bootleg. Um, it's not going to be my last. I'm, I ended up picking up another one that I just got in the mail the other day. Now this one's in a lot uh, worse shape, but it was the only one I could find. And you guys know that I'm starting my Han Solo uh, Focus. So I wanted to get a Han Solo uh, to go with the Focus. Um, in my second to last video, I showcased a Han Solo that was a Mexican bootleg. And uh, I was able to pick up this Polish bootleg right here. Now you can see uh, his paint is in pretty rough shape, but uh, I think he displays pretty nice. And I'm very happy to have a first generation Polish bootleg Han Solo in my collection. We can take a little bit of a closer look. You can see his paints coming off his legs. And he has scuffs. I just think he's such a cool figure. I will, if, unless I find a better one, I will be sending this one out to be graded to at least preserve him. He'll probably only score a 40. Uh, it'll, I'm sure it'll be low, but um, I'm just so excited to have that figure in my collection. And uh, I think he goes pretty nice. So these are my latest pickups from a far, far away place. We have Argentina and Poland represented here in this video. All right, until the next one, guys, take care.